Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation, and this is Dice Hero, the unoriginal story, a dice builder roguelike that I'm very excited to be checking out here today. The game is apparently quite good, despite what you may think from a name like that and a title screen like this, but it's apparently a lot like a deeper dicey dungeons or kind of like a poker quest, if you're familiar, uh, which are games that I really, really enjoy. Very up my alley. It was a game jam game that the dev now put on Steam. I got it for a, like a buck fifty or something. It's normally three bucks, and the dev is intending to raise money to you know give it a better art style. I believe is the the goal. Which hey, it, I I don't know why ever you would want to do that. We'll see. But what do we got? We have the ability to add difficulty modifiers. It seems, and we obviously can pick a different character of sorts. Uh, I'll just start with the first one, right? In we go. As you're about to embark on your journey towards Adventures of the Unknown, you get the possibility to say your last farewell. Get a new item. Upgrade an item. Blessing. Passive benefits. D8. How many dice do we have? Okay, we have two D6 and a D4. Okay, I mean, just like add a D8 to the pool, man. If it's like Dicey Dungeons, I know that that's a really big benefit. Uh, chance, who knows what will happen. Let's do a fight first, right? Let's let's see what's going on here first. Uh, okay, so we have our dice here. That's got to be the enemy's dice. I don't know. I'm assuming you only do one of these, and I don't know which side you start at. But thankfully, <laughs> thankfully, you do the same thing no matter. Oh, it's this one. It's got that little border right there. I see. Uh, so you're gonna be doing one dice worth of damage. You're gonna be doing three damage. I have a rusty sword. Two dice deal the sum of. The dice as damage wooden shield three dice do yeah get the sum of, yeah as block okay all right so if i'm going to be taking three damage i kind of just want to do the worst possible block that i can which is actually this kind of wild so we have 10 block prevent direct damage remove 75 percent of your block at the end of the turn oh so we do get to keep quite a bit of it we have a block right now even okay that being said, shouldn't we just maybe, like... Mm. There's no point to take damage when he's going to go and idle for two turns. There's, it'd be stupid to take damage here just because that D8 is good. Add a D4, upgrade a die, heal percents of your max health. If we add a D4... What does that really change? It just makes, on average, it makes our rolls average out to be better. Definitely not going to heal. I guess I'll upgrade a die. Turn into a D10 or a, oh, or a 50-50 D8. Half the time rolls ones, half the time rolls eights. I mean, I'll go for the D10 for now, but that's interesting. Elite battle, fight a harder enemy to get better rewards. An elite already feels wild, but okay. Will, wait, William, the son of demons. You're going to be blocking, or uh, you're going to be attacking me for five damage, or maybe, maybe six. Good news, I'm blocking six anyways. Okay, so 14, that's pretty hefty. Five. Idle does nothing. Okay, go ham, go ham, go ham. You have so much health. What, okay, so what's this? Two dice deal value plus five damage? What? This is already doing 10 damage, and it could be doing 16. Are you kidding me? I can't block all that if I want to. What else do we have coming up? Pair, do pair times two damage. Oh, no. Energize, get an extra D4. Okay, so you, you have innate ramp, but then you go back through this section that kind of sucks. Um, oh, God. Do, am I am I supposed to just turn and burn? Just go? I'll mitigate slightly. Like, I hate, I hate taking damage, but it, it, it kind of feels like... I'm not going to say it's required here, but... He has so much health and he ramps up... I can already tell that he is going to scale up stupid. Like, all right. So, what's the worst case scenario? Deal. 
If this is a three, it's a six, you do 12 damage. Oh my god. I, I don't feel like we're supposed to... I don't think we're supposed to block for a one in six chance. That just seems... That seems like a gamble. Okay, good. The, oh, okay. I was going to say, you better not hit me. 74, you're going to go for energize. Uh, so this is kind of like a... It's kind of like a do nothing. Bite, you're going to be doing five damage to me for sure. But I think... Considering these sonic waves are coming up and I need you gone, I think we just start blasting. And we take the acceptable five so that hopefully we kill before the the sonic waves is the plan. Oh, we need a really good roll to kill before the sonic wave. That, I can't help but notice, is really not a, that good of a roll. Um, I don't want to bank on, on that, and then we get an even worse roll, though. The thing is... Uh, we need to kill now. Like, right here. So... I think we do... This so that there's no way we can't kill next turn. Okay. That, that, was, that was pretty acceptable. But this fight is gnarly. That is no joke. Heal 50% of your max HP, add a D8. Upgrade a die, get an elite blessing. Give me an elite blessing. Start with five strength. Gain a main hand slot. Whenever you take damage, opponent gets three poison. I don't know per se what any of this means. I'll go for power up. I'll get this some strength. There's another one. I mean, hey, he makes more sense back there when I maybe am already stronger. All right, one die do up to four damage. Can't we just, like... We can just kill the rat in one turn because of that strength up. It just buffed our damage up by five? Is that... I should have checked if that's permanent. That seems... There's no way it's permanent. I don't know. I mean, technically, we're... Probably a, a correct path. Is a is it a present for me? In your own thoughts, you space out as you're walking down the path of the road. It's guiding your movement so you don't have to think too much. When you look up, you see yourself standing next to a chest. You don't know how this chest got here or who it belongs to. Has it fallen off a cart or was it left here as a present for you to find by me? <laughs> you will never know. Uh... Deactivate all players' dice on the first turn, plus one attack every turn. Players gain free uses. Units gain additional attacks. At the end of the turn, all attack is removed. What? So, I... I oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, come on. So, you attack twice. So, you're going to be doing 13 damage to me? Oh my god. This is so brutal. There's not really that much I can do, to be honest. Like, I can... I can go for this, and I can block all of it. But he gains attack every turn. No, gain... Oh, this is... He gains one attack every turn. Gotcha. Okay. So, you're doing the same thing. 13. Okay, well, that's a much better turn. It sucks that he screwed me over for my uh, my really, really nice turn. Oh, God. Uh, nine. I gotta tell you, I am, uh, I am gonna just accept two damage. Because we're gonna get a worse roll than this. And we're going to want our blocks then. You're doing... Okay, you're doing 10. Like, I don't want to use up my 10, really. But I will. 
The block does carry over slightly. Slightly? Oof. 14. We don't have it. We have 17 damage. So you're going to be doing... 12? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get guaranteed lethal next turn. I'll take one damage. It's okay. You better give me a reward. Okay. New item, upgrade an item. Oh, upgrade an item. I kind of want to get a new item and see what's up. Uh, gold pot. Katana. Deal. Wait. Deal. The sum of the die plus three. Wait, that's so good. It only needs one dice. Uh, the sum is equal to four. Add N uses to another item. So if this, the sum of four and you get to add uses equal to however many dice you put in. So if you put in four ones, they would get four uses, for example. Interesting. Two dice deal value times three range damage, ignoring thorns. Transform this into an elven arrow. When the value is 10, transform this into a bow. I think the katana is better. Oh, we can only have one. Okay. I kind of want to go to a, a town. You're going to be doing seven damage to me. Unless you have an extra attack. Prevent the next attack, then remove a fortify. Oh, come on. Pass strength over the next turn, attack over the next turn, fortified over the next turn. Don't lose block. Okay. So we want to do our bad hits first. Seven damage. Am I really gonna pass up on fourteen damage for? I yeah 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 yeah. I hate it. I hate it. But we, it, our block does carry over for a little bit. But we lose so much. So you have no more fortify, right? Yes. One die. Deal value times two block. Okay, so you're gonna get fourteen block. You get a hell of a lot, man. Yeah, here. I need one more die. I think I'll take that after this. Okay, so you're going full-on block mode. So we just slice away at you, and then you have an idle phase. All right. I think I actually can kill. This katana seems really good. So 11, 18, 23. We're off by one. Surely we weren't. We were. Okay. Boop. Boop. Get out of here. Forest turtle. Uh, I do want a D4. I feel like that'd be really useful, having just that extra ability. And I kind of want to know what's going on at town. Heal 75% health. Get a blessing. Upgrade an item. Get a new item. Can we see how to... What upgrades are? Right click. Oh, uh... Deal two, two dice deal blank plus three. Oh, well, that's not necessarily that much better. Because then you have to use two. I don't know. Has the same amount of uses, I guess, is what's good. Up to three dice, add blank block. Three dice, add block, and three strength. That seems really good. Is it free? Okay, so now our, our goal is 
uh, put three dice into the shield first, no matter what. All right, let's let's get vengeance on this nerd. Three weak dice into this, no matter what. Oh my god! Womp, womp, womp. There's a lot more damage. We have so much block. Near now, you're idle. So we we just want to use on this turn our weakest stuff in the shield. And absolutely rip you in half. Sonic Wave. Same deal still. I do think I want to burn quick. Because with that, we have lethal next turn. And we didn't even take damage. Yo, that is... If you needed something that explained how much stronger we got, that shows it right there. What it also shows is that that guy should not be right here. You should not find him right there. In my humble opinion. Hmm. Upgrading dice. Do we get a wait, do we get upgraded by two or something? I wonder. No, it's the same upgrade? Oh. I'm afraid that we'll lose our upgrade if we go back. Thorns? Has venomous blood. I feel like thorns sounds rough for us. That sounds like a hates multi hit stuff. Uh, reveal one secret die for one die. Some of them needs to equal twenty. Gain a fortify. Two dice add. Oh, well, we upgraded our other shield. So I'm between these two. Or we could reroll. Let's do it. Add supercharge and molt. Gain a use at the, at the end of the turn. Remove supercharge. Gain burn equal to the uses on the item at the end of the turn. Uh, one dice gain lucky brew or unlucky brew. When you do damage to an enemy, gain a strength. Remove all unlucky brew at the end of the turn. Whenever your player deals damage to an enemy, gain a weakness. I don't know what that means. I'm assuming it's the reverse of strength. Feels weird. Uh, value 10, deal... 10 times the number of dice used to get that to the enemy and five times end of the player both of the, like all of this sucks this at least has an upgrade gives us an extra use i could see us using that i guess or maybe the brew maybe the brew upgrade up to three dice add some block and n strength what's the oh we can oh, oh oh we could put in we could put in less i mean that's actually kind of valid because then we could put in two and but we would only get two strength we'd be missing out on three damage still could be good big part of me wants to heal going into a potential another elite that i don't understand deeper in the run. Alright, it's boring, but it's safe. Uh, whenever the enemy takes damage, you gain three poison. Okay. Deal damage equal to poison at the end of the turn, and then have your poison. Oh, I killed the rat. 
Oh, he's dead. Oh, that wasn't an elite. Oh, I thought that was an elite too. I hate his passive though. And the other guy had the same one, did it say? Venomous blood, but 150 health? No way. Like, the reason that died so quick is because our first turn is actually kind of overpowered. Does nothing. Oh, you poor sap. You know, I could see... Gain burn equal to... Okay. Okay. So, okay, so we did block the burn. Gotcha. Okay, hold on. Two dice deal value times two damage. So four at best is eight times two. Ooh, at best is 16. That's no joke. I don't really want to use all my stuff for it, though. Well, your next thing is a heal, so sure. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's... That's nothing for us right now. That's absolutely nothing for us at the moment. Let's upgrade our lower stuff. Uh, I'll tell you what. We have to fight him no matter what, so let's let's... Stock up, and then we'll get to him. He seems gross. Triple. Oh, my God. I can't believe he actually rolled it. 12. You you are going to be doing 36 damage to me? For real? Because he rolled all fours? I probably could have just killed if I did it normally, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was a mistake. We, we gotta... I'm I'm still even underestimating how much damage we put out on our first turn, even knowing that it's an absolute butt-ton. Let's get a 12. Why not? I don't know if we should go for that other one. That Boiling blood. Whenever the enemy takes damage, you gain three burn. Oh my. Absolutely wrecked. I do love that we block uh we block the burn. That does help. One dice skip the next blank attack. What? Are you just a DPS race? Is that just your whole thing? Is there like a explosive chicken? There's got to be like a bomb. Yeah, like a big blow up attack at the end. Harder enemy get better reward. I mean, we'll see, man. We will see. Whenever an enemy takes damage, you get three poison. One dice gain X value thorns. You have a D20? Oh my god. This seems problematic. That's our big turn. We got a lot left. Burn burn removes thorn equal to burn added. When taking direct damage, deal damage equal to thorns on the attacker. When taking direct damage, remove thorn equal to damage taken. Block prevents block prevents thorns to be removed from damage. At the end of the turn. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. So more or less, we kind of that's damage we sort of have to take. Is 
what I'm gathering. And then we have 13, uh, 13 poison here. We have 13 block. And it goes through our block? Okay, this is, this is stupid. This is actually stupid. Oh, my word. All right. Okay, I'm so glad that we're going to be fine because this ca this enemy is actually unbalanced. 40 block. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Two dice deal value minus two poison. This could be 20 or is that really? Okay. If I, I, if I can't block poison, th th this does this makes no sense to me. Like I don't understand how this was. Because yes, if I had the diet, you know, the one that um, used two dice, that would be better. But still, unblockable, completely unavoidable frequent damage on such a tanky unit seems poorly thought out to me. 40 block. Well, here's the thing. Surely I don't get poison for attacking him when he has block. Oh my god, I do. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wow. This is not good. That enemy, that enemy is really poorly balanced. I need health. I have to take the health. That makes no sense. What a, what a random... I'm glad I didn't fight him back here. I would have died, for sure. Um... Oh, I feel like I need to get health, but I feel like the final boss of this zone might actually be easier than that guy. For all I know. Upgrade an item. I kind of want to get a new item right now. Blessing sounds nice, too. Just give me a blessing. Random item gets Counter-Strike at the start of combat. If you roll three or more dices, dices with base value seven. Three more dices that roll a seven on their face. It is technically possible. Roll a lucky d20. I'm going to go with consistency right now. 350 health has rage. Sure. So yeah, this is just for other items that have no reset, pretty much, right? You're mostly secret. Two dice add ignite. Well, it's something that I can at the very least block, you know. What's kind of strike? Gain a use when an enemy misses an attack. Move it to a random item when used. Oh, weird. Um, I'm going to do that. I know it's silly, but I'm going to, um, I, I, if it's like poker quest, which seems to be a very large inspiration, um, items that have no uses typically can't be targeted by things like that. And I want to just put that back in my cycle. Oh, you have multi attacks. Pair, so you can do a maximum of... You can do 24 damage to me. You can do 24 damage to me, or you could do nothing. And then you gain a d4. Deal burn equal to half the total roll. Upgrade and reroll the lowest dice. Okay, so... Your scariest thing is fireball. Rip can be bad. Do we just, um... Try and go for some... 
God, I need to, I'm just gonna get rid of that item. Now that I know how Counter-Strike works, it's, it's actually, he did, he rolled a double. It's not unlikely with what he has, so, can't be too mad. Deal burn equal to half the total roll. Starting off strong, but... I mean, I guess if you miss an attack, I get empower item back. Five burn, that's fine. That's good for me. Deals damage equal to burn at the end of the turn. It's not additive. The higher burn replaces the lower value. Block negates it. When it's applied, at the end of the turn, it gets reduced by one. Um, He rolled a 20 on his D20. That's not cool. Um... Shoot. And we have a long ways to go here. We have a long ways to go here, so... Just sitting here and blocking... Feels... It feels so bad. But I know for a fact I'm taking 20. Oh, my burn. Burn goes at the start of the turn. Gotcha. Um, uh-oh. Two dice damage and ignite. You could hit me. You, if any of these are sixes, I'm hit with 24 damage here. Add ignite to a random player item. Gain burn equal to the value at the start of on use. Remove ignite at the end of the turn. Uh, we're taking a lot of damage here. And I'm only 150 in, and he's just going to be getting stronger over the course of time. This is not looking very good. It would have been nice if this did anything and this did anything, but we got bad... Uh, I think we got bad items, considering the situation. And it's just like... The thing is, I don't know what this is, because I can't... It doesn't say what Counter-Strike means. You know? And it didn't... And... Same here. Supercharge. Don't know what that means. Then couldn't tell what molt was really. It's just yeah, tricky stuff. Some clarity, quality of life stuff like would be really appreciated, and I'm sure it will be added over the course of early access here. Uh, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna I'm gonna cross my fingers that you do not have a nasty roll there. It's pretty nasty. Uh, this is very much just a go-for-it turn. Oh, gain burn. I thought that was... Okay. Gain burn equal to the value on use. Suboptimal. That that landed on a shield. But it was still... I still would have done it anyways. 21 block... Or 21 burn coming in here, no matter what, is... Frightening, so I guess I will just go for a little bit of a buff there. Take only five damage, but then this turn's gonna not be very good. Please roll. Okay, so a ten. You're gonna be doing ten damage with the bite, and then fireball. Who freaking knows? You're at a hundred health. Okay. Well, if we survive this, we actually get to go a long while and probably be okay. If we survive this section right here. So I think we do I think we do a big block, because this is this is not nothing. Okay. Okay. Pair. The worst case scenario, I mean the worst case scenario is two sixes. 24 damage. We don't even die there. So I think we have to just go in. Okay, very good. Very, very good. Uh, yeah, there's nothing... There's, we're, we're probably okay. This is tight, but we're fine. We're gonna get burnt for a hell of a lot, don't get me wrong. But it doesn't matter because we get to uh, go first. I wonder if we get a full heal here. Jeez, man, that was wild. Considering the, the item situation, I'm, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> 
add a d20? It's hard to say no to that. It's so hard to say no to an entire d20. I don't know what the boss blessings are, though. Just a whole freaking d20. Oh, we get multiple. Do it. Gain an attack every turn. At the end of the turn, take a damage for each attack player has. So it said, I remember this from the enemy. It said, if a player has it, all my attacks get an extra charge. Lose 75% max health. All damage taken is reduced to one. What? That's broken. Enter the orange or blue portal. Orange. Especially considering I uh, didn't have any health anyways. Okay, Venomous Blood seems like a massive problem for us. That's the get poisoned. D20 rolled a, a dinky thing. Rolled less than any of my uh, D6s. I rolled a natural one, that's why. Oh, boy. One dice, do value times two damage, then heal yourself. You do get two attacks, so like... All right. I gotta get rid of the empower item. That was not bad. One weakness. For to okay, that's it. Just straight up minus one value. That's fine. I should have put on a bigger defense for uh, the life steal because you do have two attacks, don't you? Yeah, here comes here comes a nasty. No, actually, it's only one damage. What am I talking about? If I can find a way to heal myself now, I don't understand that. How does that item exist? It seems too good. It's too good. Do I get a heal? Okay, th that was just for science. Okay, this seems broken now. Uh, sandworm that has 200 health, secret dice. Sure, bring it on. How much damage you do? I don't care. So now we can really play this straightforward, just dumb way. <laughs> I, I, I hate how useless that is for me, but hey, what are you going to do? All right, so what's up? Pass strength over to the next turn. Each dice value gain plus one strength. Oh, you attack three times in a turn? Gain an attack. Wait, what? You also didn't take any damage. You have thorns as well. Uh, you are... Yeah, this is not going to be good. This is not going to be good at all. The thorns is a large problem. Direct damage, you'll damage equal to the thorns. So theoretically, we, we get countered on the first. Unless... No, because... No, that's right. Because uh, the thorns don't go away until you actually take the hit. Like, you can't block it. It doesn't, doesn't actually matter. Okay, so, I mean, it's very much just, like, another, like, ramp up. There's lots of just straight-up ramp up enemies. So we sort of just don't have a whole lot to... Yeah, I mean, man, empower item. Worked again there. One damage. He's up to four attacks. He gets four attacks every turn right now. 
Oh my lord. Five attacks every turn. 26 thorns. Dude, this thing sucks. <laughs> this thing really sucks. If we're not blocking anything anyways, we just go all in on the dumb face damage. I think we need to upgrade our katana. Are we dead? Okay. Oh my god. It gets to play all of its cards in one turn, pretty much. Okay. Alright, I hated that. I have to get my health back. I'm not fighting another one of those. Uh... So these are both weapons. So straight up, they take my weapon slot. Two dice, remove some block from an enemy, and then deal blank damage. Could that be better? Value equal 20, gain fortified. Prevent the next attack. Prevent the next attack, and then remove fortified. I mean, I'll, I'll take that because we don't have a slot for that right now. They both have unrelenting poison. What do you have? You have five health. What's that about? Let's find out. Let's find out. Ah, you have five health and 150 block. That uh, that hammer would have been really good right about now, huh? So the value has to be exactly 20, huh? That's going to be tricky. You're going to go for a bite that does maximum of 8. No, you're doing you're just doing Wait, what are you doing here? How are you, why are you in the same biome as every one of these other things we've been fighting? I know there was an elite, but still. What the hell, man? A maximum of eight damage on your bite? Wait, I have some blocks still? I'm confused. Maximum ten. Oh, these are D10s, not D8s. Now you're going for a block. Alright. Can you, upgrade? you can't upgrade a D20. Maybe I should add more dice at this point. Blessings defect. I'll fight a sand crab. I was going to say I wanted to fight the other one because it's different, but we haven't fought this one either. Prevent the next attack and then remove fortified. Oh my god. Oh no. If... Tail whip. You're, you're setting up. If you have two nines here, you do so much damage. I guess not really. You do one damage. This item is bu -bu 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 broken. Miss. Helmet gets an extra use. I even almost feel like it doesn't make sense to have the helmet. Thorns are our enemy for sure. 20 thorns. Nineteen thorns. Wait, okay. It's fine. We'll take the one hit there. But yeah, I don't know. The the leads are just absolutely disgusting by comparison. I want to go to the shop or the town. Uh, I haven't seen a person in years. The Baron Tessin has been my has been my only companion. Do you have a moment to hear my story? Uh, what are you doing here? Oh my god! 
The sad story is valuable as I'll never forget. I learned that life can be unpredictable and sometimes our dreams may not come true. But the one thing that stands out most of my memory is that cake does not taste like the same as cake, no matter how much sugar you add. <laughs> it's just, the only thing it can do is... Well, I guess it could... Wait, hold on. I can get... What happens if I get a use of sand cake? I must know. So, upgrading an item. Two or less dices. We could upgrade the katana. Uh, so, hold on. So, as it stands, the katana, that would be six dice. Not very logical. Not very logical yet. But we could go for the wooden die or wooden shield upgrade, and then it'd be one die, and then we go for katana six seven. If we upgrade both the katana and the wooden shield, we're good. And that's actually kind of like optimal. For our weird dumb build that we have. Hmm. Two or less dice dices dices is 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 where you gain an extra fortified. I mean, that does seem good too. Give me a blessing. Screw it. Strength every even turn, weakness every odd. Gain an extra armor slot. I don't really care about any of these. Give me a reroll. Additional refresh on every item. Gain additional d20 on the first turn. Okay. Uh. Gain Reflect. When the player takes damage, that damage dealt to the enemy instead, and then remove Reflect. I mean, it's one damage, but it's still relevant. Some of the dice needs to be four. Add blank use to another item. One, two, three, four, five. Uh... These are all trinkets. I actually think that this is fine. Like, I know it's a little bit counterproductive when we have the, the weird one damage situation, but I think it's still good. And now I'm sitting here thinking we should have upgraded again. Strength every three turns. Great. I do want to see and die to this uh, this new guy. What's your deal? You get two attacks and you have thorns. <laughs> everybody, everybody has thorns. Everybody has thorns, man. And you have venomous blood. Everyone has venomous blood. And you get burn. And you get fortified. And you gain attack. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm really hoping it reflects nine. It did. It reflects the full amount. Huge. Okay. It's relevant now. Unless we can move it back over to it. I think we kind of have to go all in. Prevent one, some damage. So we, I guess we go lower, lower. Why am I getting poison if it's not connecting? What? That makes no sense to me. Huh. So we gain two fortify there, theoretically. Uh, huh, huh. Then three, three die for that, but. We do need to make sure we actually attack the man. You need to get him to die next turn. Okay, he's got the shielding again. You know what? Get the 
fortify. Do we take poison here? No? Yeah, it's not too bad. He wasn't too bad. Bye-bye, boy. I mean, I can't deny that 50% of my max health makes a lot of sense right now. Uh, he... I sort of want to, like, blitz my way up to the... All right. Cute critters. You walk along a dirt road surrounded by trees out of nowhere. A monster jumps down and starts to fight you. Scare him. Prevent all damage above 10. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't think I can really do much about that. Make sure. Wait. Oh, it oh, what? What? It didn't count for the armor, apparently. Huh. Interesting. All right, so let's stack up a hell of a lot of poison. Does this? Okay. It's fine. Wait, but now do you? If I reflect the 10 poison, do you block that damage too? Probably, because it seems like all the damage is calculated exactly the same way. Let's find out. Nope. That one doesn't work. Okay. Oh, that one does work, rather. Okay. Even stranger. Uh, Damage above 10. So the 10 is fine. Okay. Is the poison not doing anything? Hold on. Don't buff. Ten. There we go. Hmm. Splits through. We'll, well, yeah, we'll fight the uh, that big boy as well. Pair. Give value times three block. I feel like getting the Morning Star to have as a backup would be good, but I just want to see some new stuff. Pair, do value times two. Do times three, or you can do it three times. Up to five dice. This is a weapon slot thing, though. Add sum when total added value is equal to or over 100. Remove 100. And gain five strength. Okay. I'll say there's some value to that. More than the sand cake. That's for sure. This guy wasn't too bad. So all of our extra dice... will go into the seed... Oh, you can't do it one at a time? Oh, okay. My bad. You gotta do them all at once, or no not at all. Understood. Fortified, fortified. Did I actually take three damage? Did I add, wait, does burn... Poison doesn't work, but burn does the full? Some strange inconsistencies here. Alright, but I'm stacking up so that I can do a nice big reflect, hopefully. That did 15. That did 1. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. Got a couple fortifies, so we want to go from lowest to highest.
Eh, we're at 41 for that. I don't know if that really matters. Yeah. He's got no fortify. We just... We just go ham on him. We kill him next turn. But then what? Are we just... We're taking the heal? I don't know. It feels like the elites are almost too gnarly to be worth it. Maybe I'm crazy. We got to break through those fortifies. To me, they, they just seem... Yeah, they seem overtuned. Because we have to go for the heal there, though. As I entered the dark cave, felt a chill run down my spine. Curiosity pushed, curiosity pushed me forward, deeper into the unknown. A pulsating portal emanating in otherworldly energy. You can feel the coldness radiating from the portal. I knew that it led to a frozen world beyond. Uh... Theoretically, that takes me to the other world, which I feel like doesn't make sense right now. Reroll all of your active dice. Now, that seems pretty good. Has two uses. I think I'd take that. And let's go uh, get bodied by this. Regardless of what happens, I think we're going to call it after this one. So, what's your deal? 10 fortify. Fortify gets passed over to the next turn. Every dice value gets minus one for each weakness at the end of the turn. All weaknesses removed. Dice can't go lower than zero. Pass weakness over the next turn. Oh my god, you have 40... Oh my lord. Two uses total. Doesn't really matter which value we put in there. We don't have the ability to carry Fortify over to the next turn like he does, so... No point in even trying to bother for that one. Burn equal to half the total roll. If Burn actually does... <laughs> you know full on destroy like we're, we've got a problem like if it does actual damage beyond our weird little shield how much fortify do you have e explode deal 100 damage to both <laughs> what I'm glad that I have what I have because why does that exist What? But I can't break through, so it doesn't even matter. So he's not going to take it either. The armor didn't matter because he has the fortify. Uh, like, the amount of damage I did was irrelevant. Okay. So I was able to break through him once. Wait. This is just real? How do you deal with this if you have a different deck? Like, I'm... I've got a completely broken deck for this. But, like, how the hell? Okay, does this burn... Does this burn do the full 10? That's my question. It shouldn't. One would imagine it sh should not. Okay, good. I, I don't know why I saw a minus three at some point then. Oh, that's just, just it being applied. God, I love that we have that passive. It's so freaking broken for this encounter. Roll the four. Okay. I, I had faith. I don't know why. 
We do just win by default because this guy is uh, a silly, silly man. So, yeah, he does t eight attacks a turn right now, might I add. Eight attacks a turn, meaning he explodes. He's going to explode twice. Like, I'm glad that we are who we are. Oh, can he not? He can't cycle through his deck more than once, though. Is that the, the catch to balance it out? Or is that really where it ended? Gain extra attack. 12. Boom. Explode. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, I think he can he can only do his He can only do all of his attacks at the same time. What a generous soul. Alright. And he blows himself up. Busted. Uh man. Add a trinket slot, boss blessing. For the sake of curiosity, what is going on? Poison you get is converted into burn is huge, because poison is Really unfun. Whenever you gain poison, deal that much damage to enemy, and then and then have the gain poison. Good. When the player uses an item, deal two damage to an enemy. There's probably a way to break that. There's probably a way to break that open. But like, that for example is just really good. Screw it. But yeah, alas, alas, that is that. That's gonna do it here. Uh, it's been an hour, so we're gonna call it. Uh, that's the, the Void Boss. I think this is the same art pack that, uh, Circadian Dice might use. It's a, um, a, whatever, a, I don't know if it's free or just a paid licensed one, but to be clear, uh, I also hate this guy. Glob, glob, a glob, a glob. Uh, game is wild. Game is neat. I think it has a lot of promise. I think that there's some, like, glaring, frustrating balance things, and this is, like, without any additional, like, uh, modifiers going on you know so I, I think that there is some of that that would be probably best to to be looked at here and there but you know tis what tis i think it's a cool concept i like the game i obviously enjoy dice build the everything like that i think uh you can't really go too wrong for the price as well like three bucks yeah sure uh why not especially like if you get it right now while it's on sale i paid i think what is it let me check uh a buck 79 it's totally worth a buck seventy nine, especially because, like, you know, as early access develops and, you know, maybe the art style gets improved and things like that, as the developer wants, uh, I would imagine the price is going to be going up. So if that is something you are interested in getting in on early, you know, now might be the time when it's really dirt, dirt cheap. Uh, but alas, alas, I'd be curious to see what the other items are, the other characters, things like that. Maybe there is, uh, you know, more to it. Maybe we just got, like, an absolutely unlucky set of items I, I can't imagine that's the case because Grand Warding seems like it breaks balance in half. But also, I'm sitting here and I'm going, okay, well, if I didn't have that, how do I deal with the boss that does 100 damage uh, every single turn and casts every single one of his attacks every single turn? How do I deal with that if I don't have this item? That It just it doesn't seem like it makes sense to me. And that's why I'm saying, like, the balance feels... It feels off. Like, it's... It's always good to feel like things get broken, and it, it, I think that it's almost like it, it's too far. And I'm not saying, like, in the player, like, in the player side, I'm saying on both sides. It feels like it's getting a little too, a little bit too not reined in for both angles, both the player and the opponent. Uh, but alas, alas, we'll see. I'd be curious to see how this develops over the course of time. I think it's quite neat and very, very much worth the price, for sure, obviously. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.